This is the paint booth, folks. 16 foot wide, 34 foot long. I can fit just about any vehicle in here. I'm sure I could fit uh, about 12 bikes in here. About seven years ago, we looked around and saw that we had seven, eight vehicles that needed work. And we knew that with all these vehicles that we needed a place to work on them, a place to do our own paint and body. So we decided to build a paint booth. It's a downdraft. So um, from the gable vents outside, air is pulled in through these overhead filters and then down out the filters on the side. Well, I don't have the filters on the fans right now, but these are just basically some really cheap uh, little, really cheap little frame that I put together with some wire on it. And I'll cut filters and stick them on here before we uh, start painting. I would show you my gun, but it's not in here right now. We wanted it also to be a drive through That way we wouldn't be boxed in. We can pull a vehicle through either side. In a perfect world, I would have been able to just buy a paint booth and put it inside of a shop, but my shop is too small. My shop is only 30 by 30, and uh, there was no way that I would look a wasp. My shop is only 30 by 30, and uh, I knew there was no way I could put a paint booth in there. So I know I needed an exterior structure. I found plans online for a detached garage, drive through style detached garage. This is my air filter system. The air comes from the air compressors in my shop next door. I ran the line underground to here and then uh, just mounted it along the wall in here. The walls are covered in a panel that you would normally install in a bathroom. And if you look at them, you can see where we glued it to the wall. We didn't expect that to happen, of course. Um, but here it is. I th think I think if I would have got a more expensive panel, then it, it wouldn't have done this. I know to most of you this doesn't look clean, but this is actually very clean. I pressure washed in here for about three hours yesterday and I just kept washing until the water ran clean. I washed the roof, the walls, the floor, everything in here is clean. And all this paint you see is stained, it's not coming off, which happens in a paint booth. Every vehicle you paint, uh, some of that paint stays here and it's going to be here forever. This is a 2012 Porsche Panamera in my paint booth. I've been so busy that I haven't been able to come and help my brother-in-law paint this vehicle. He's been doing all the work by himself. Um, it should be ready for paint today. There wasn't very much damage on the vehicle. Just uh, these prime spots here, you can see he did some work there. A little bit of work on this back corner. This vehicle is for another one of our friends. He's gonna be going blue on the bottom, black on the top. I wish I had more time to help, but with my truck project and my daily job, don't have much time.
Okay, this is what it's looking like right now. This is after three coats of the blue, but there's no clear on here yet. This is just the, after the third coat of blue. We have 50 Cent in the background. So this is four coats of clear. After these four coats cure, it's gonna be water sanded, and then four more coats of clear will be placed on top of this.